sipping with the blaze once again. Yes, we are getting our sip on this evening. defamation case and now that all the stories are finally coming out you can finally see who was the real problem in that relationship seems to me like you know his drinking or whatever he was doing was escapism from the stress of dealing with a crazy woman. How crazy, you ask? Well, let's get into it. Apparently, Jason Momoa and Amber Heard's lack of chemistry reduced her role in Aquaman 2. Her agent says. Well, I mean, what is he supposed to say? He's looking out for himself. You know, he needs to still find employment within Hollywood circles. So he's gonna he's gonna follow in that sword for Amber Heard right now because that's his probably a big source of income for him. But obviously, it's not just Johnny that she's not getting along with. It seems like she has a habit of not getting along with people. Amazing. But of course, it can never be her fault. She can never be held accountable. Let's check it out. Aquaman and the Last Kingdom star... Jason Momoa's lack of chemistry with Amber Heard caused her role to be reduced in the upcoming film, Heard's agent claimed Friday. Heard's agent, Jessica, what was it called? Vesivic, uh, it's hard to pronounce in there, virtually testified in the Johnny Depp vs. Amber Heard trial on Monday, saying she believes the negative light on Heard due to the ongoing conflicts with Depp, greatly impacted her role. See how they try to just gloss over it, like, oh, this is... Keep in mind, people, it's her agent. She's going to... You know, the agent is going to speak on behalf of the person they represent, even if they know for a fact that the person they represent is 100% wrong, that's their way of getting a check. So they're not going to... They're not going to throw their client under the bus. I mean, but, but you can see, I mean, if you listen to the details that's coming out about this case, 
first of all, what sane, what sane, full-grown adult would take a dump in somebody's bed on purpose and think that that's funny or cute? Who in their right mind does stuff like that? And you listen to the recordings, because good for Johnny Depp for having these recordings or these conversations with this woman. And on one of them, she definitely revealed how she would use her woman privilege to win court opinion and public opinion. And she she basically admitted that she was going to do that. But of course, Johnny's the bad guy. Even though she didn't deny punching him. Now just think for a second. If it was the other way around, if he's taking a crap in her bed and he's punching her in the face with a closed fist. Just imagine. If they, they did this to him, they did this to Johnny Depp and he was the victim of domestic violence. And imagine if the roles was reversed. He probably would be in prison already. Picture that. Depp's ex-wife was first cast in the 2017's Justin League, Justice League film and then made her debut in the Aquaman franchise as Mara the following year. Heard's agent testified that the star was contracted to make two million dollars in the sequel which was already concluded filming and is set to hit theaters March 2023. So this this movie obviously has been pushed back many times and not just because of uh, COVID and all that. I think, because this is not the first time I'm hearing about the, the chemistry issues between Jason Momoa and Amber Heard. So, and, and this is in a professional setting. These are these people's jobs. So, if you can't be professional and you are hard to deal with as far as somebody working with you, I can't even imagine what Johnny Depp was going through being married to somebody like this. And you could just see, you, you look at how she's conducting herself in court, like oh, the innocent victim and no, I would have never done any of these things wrong. And the reason why I said this is because I was thinking that, this, I mean, it's just, she's so full of crap. Crapola. They should run her out of Hollywood. Because it's not like she's ultra talented anyway. I mean, you know, who does she know? But it's neither here nor there. Get these entitled brats to get in these positions and want to try to play the woman card. Oh, I have a badge. You can't do that to me. No, no, no. You can't do that to me. I'm a woman. Oh, oh, sure. Go ahead and complain about me. Who's going to believe you? This is actually on audio recording she's actually saying this they actually played these recordings in court of her saying this nobody's gonna believe you you Johnny Depp a white man are the victim of domestic violence nobody's gonna believe you so go ahead and tell you see how blatantly just smug and Entitled and narcissistic, that woman is. And there's a lot of that going around. It's a lot of that, unfortunately. But that's just one of many crazy things going on in this world today. Yeah, how about that baby formula shortage? Only for. American citizens. I'm not talking about, uh, you know, if you're an illegal immigrant coming through the Texas border, that it's not going to affect you because the Biden administration plans to ship formula down there 
for the children down there and their parents who are illegally entering this country. So they won't have nothing to worry about. Oh, oh no, they won't have nothing to worry about. Just goes to show you where the priorities are of this administration. They don't give a damn about the American people. They're probably covering themselves due to some under the table hush hush deals that we don't even know about we probably won't know about for another five to ten years when things slowly and surely start coming out with this administration and what Biden has actually done was actually doing to this country picture that Shout out to Donald Trump. Still fighting. Definitely appreciate that. And this story on Fox News. You can find these articles on Fox News. I'm basically going through going through Fox News, uh, like links and articles and stuff. You can find all this stuff on, on the Fox News website. Trump reacts to testimony that Clinton spread Russia allegations. Where do I get my reputation back? That's the question Trump is asking right now, and that's that's a good that's a good ass question. Because people with common sense, and you didn't need a truckload of it. All you needed was an ounce of it. You figure out that those allegations was BS. dirty tricks and I say when Trump gets reelected again he should pursue criminal charges against Hillary Clinton and if he can Joe Biden and if he can Barack Obama take off the gloves it's time to stop being nice no it's time to pull out the sword Take a quick listen to this. Hold on one second. Trump reacts to testimony that Clinton spread Russia allegations. Where do I get my reputation back? Trump says, for three years, I had to fight her off referring to Hillary Clinton. Exclusive. Former President Donald Trump reacted to the bombshell testimony out of the trial of Michael Sussman that Hillary Clinton herself approved the dissemination of false information alleging a covert communications channel between the Trump Organization and a Russian bank to the media. Trump told Fox News Digital that the entire Russia investigation is one of the greatest political scandals in history and that he will never get his reputation fully back. Former Clinton campaign manager Robbie Mook on Friday testified as part of the first criminal trial out of special counsel John Durham's years-long investigation into the origins of the Trump-Russia probe, saying Clinton approved and agreed to share the discredited data with the media. Former FBI general counsel James Baker testified Thursday that the bureau investigated the data alleging a Trump connection to the kremlin link bank and found that there was nothing there. This is one of the greatest political scandals in history, Trump told Fox News Saturday morning, for three years, I had to fight her off and fight those crooked people off, and you'll never get your reputation fully back. Where do I get my reputation back? Trump said again. I had to fight them off, Trump said. 
And if we had real leadership, instead of people like Mitch McConnell, they would do something about it. And guys like Bill Barr, they would have done something about it. Trump said that the law enforcement and intelligence community resources devoted to investigating him and members of his 2016 campaign distracted officials from what could have been a real danger with Russia. The FBI in July 2016 opened a counterintelligence investigation into whether candidate Donald Trump and members of his campaign were colluding or coordinating with Russia to influence the 2016 campaign. That FBI investigation, known as Crossfire Hurricane, was handed off to special counsel Robert Mueller after Trump was elected. Mueller was appointed on May 17, 2017. After nearly two years, Mueller's investigation yielded no evidence of criminal conspiracy or coordination between the Trump campaign and Russian officials during the 2016 presidential election. Durham was tapped in 2019, shortly after Mueller announced his findings by Attorney General Bill Barr to investigate the origins of the FBI's original investigation into the Trump campaign, which led to the appointment of Mueller as special counsel. Mook, during cross-examination by government prosecutor Andrew DeFilippis, was asked about the Clinton campaign's understanding of the... This is why they are trying so hard to maneuver and create new laws and new loopholes that can possibly prevent Donald Trump from becoming president again. Because they know, they know, there's a very good chance that if he ends up in the White House again, a lot of them are going to jail. Picture that. That's her son's cake. That's her son's cake. That's her son's cake. That's her son's cake. I'm sure y'all heard that little tidbit right there. Apparently, baby mama pulls up at the residence of the guy. Might have been this woman, you know, maybe this woman, and this woman lived there, whatever, whatever. And I guess he he gives his son a cake, and the baby mom, baby mama's so bitter. 
her child's father, she takes the cake and throws it out the car on the lawn. And I'm sure you guys heard all the profanity and all the loose language and cursing she was unnecessarily doing, talking about go ahead and call the police, and I'm still hearing all the... You dudes need to start watching where you stick your dick. Because it's hard for me to believe you didn't see any traces of this bra being that shit crazy. None. Where you love her at with the cardboard sign. Come on, son. You knew she was crazy. You knew she was a fucked up person. And listen how she was talking. First of all, whatever problem you got with his father, what does that have to do? I mean, how's the cake hurting you? I mean, he he got a son a birthday cake. Let it, let it, you know, let Shorty enjoy the cake, this and that. First of all, all this arguing in front of, well, you know what? I can't even call it an argument. Cause really she was just she was just screaming and cursing him out for no damn reason you know something that I mean if it's gonna be bitter like this I mean say what you got to say o- over the phone and get the fuck on talking about go ahead and record it and I don't care and call the police and this and that see when you hear bro say that you need to start making plans to get away from her. You got video evidence now of how she acts. Bro, go go down to that whatever municipality is in your area and petition for full custody of your shorty. Because it's blatantly obvious why she even wanted a child with you to begin with. Because if she got this much vitriol and anger towards you, then she only wanted that kid for a check anyway. So you got, you know, you got this incident on video. Get you a lawyer. Go down there and, and, and yo, get full custody of your kid, man. That'll, that'll force her to act like she got some damn sense when she come around. Because all visitation rights will be at your discretion when you say so, when you want so, where you want. It's not enough to just record ignorant behavior and let these type of bras just get away with just treating brothers, treating you any kind of way. And you tell about how she's acting, she know there's no... There's no real true consequences for her actions. She's daring you to call the police. See if it's the other way around. Just, what? Won't be no need to dare anything. All she would have to do is even think about calling the police and then the motherfuckers be rolling down the street. Uh, what's going on, ma'am? You, you need some assistance? That's how it is in Western society when it comes to men and women relations, especially when they are using the child as a pawn on a chessboard. gotta be able to vet these women better put them through some tests just to see how they gonna react how they gonna carry themselves what they gonna say take notes and keep doing that shit until you find the information that 
that you're looking for as far as what's going to make you comfortable going in one direction or the other. Okay, I know all I need to know. I am comfortable pursuing marrying this woman. Or I know all I need to know. I'm comfortable knowing that I need to get the fuck away from this broad because she is bad shit crazy. And I need help. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it be like that. Oh, and there's a lot of treats to choose from because there's a lot of these bras out here like that. A lot of these dames still be acting like that. Hold on for a second. Sit break. See if this is the one right here. That's funny, but that ain't the one I was looking for. <laughs> That's a good skit, though. Honey, how are they making the kids? How are they making the kids? These last few years, they've been making the kids differently. The gas prices is going up, and so are the kids' height. I promise you. If one more lady in the gas station, or the grocery store, or the wherever looks at me and is like, why is your son not saying hello back? Why is your son not talking to me? I asked him how his day was. He's two, Barbara. He's two. Like, what I'm supposed to do? What I'm supposed to do? Like, he is so tall, it's embarrassing. He's so tall, he looks slow. He's so tall, he looks slow. Rowan, let me talk to you real quick. Let me get him, because you're not going to believe me. All right. That was just an annoying... <laughs> And if you guys could see what this woman looked like, tattoos all over, tattoo on the face, big ass tattoo on her neck. Talk about a red flag. And some of you niggas will still hit that. And wonder why you have all the problems you have. Come on now. We as men, we got 
decide if it's worth the problems and stress. First of all, you shouldn't want problems and stress in your life because that shit is unhealthy. You can have all the money in the world, but if you're coming home to a broad that's supplying nothing but grief and stress and arguments and confrontation and conflict all the time, I guarantee you, you will die very quickly. Your health, your physical health will decline rapidly. That's not a healthy place to be in. I mean, I'm just saying. Correct me if I'm wrong. Fight me if you're strong. A lot of crazy nonsense going on in the world today. Western women have been losing their mind for a long time because they haven't been held accountable for a long time. And now they think they can just do and say anything. And with the system built up the way it is, they kind of can because who's going to hold them accountable for doing the shit that they do? Especially when the system is making money off of the ignorance and the debaucherous nature. I don't know. Man. Maybe it's just me. After all, I'm just a regular guy. I ain't got no talent. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. But I guarantee you, you take a look around, you start to realize that red lizard motherfucker got a point. That's a fact, Jack. For my NBA heads out there that's listening to this podcast on a Saturday night, who y'all got in the game tonight? I think Boston gonna fuck Miami up tonight. What y'all think? Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler is one of those every other type players. You know what I mean when I say every other? Every other game, he'll play good. If you're lucky. He'll play good one game, maybe drop 40. Like, oh, okay, that's Jimmy's saving all his flavor for the playoffs. Cool. Then next game, he'll drop 15. And he to get blown out by like 20 or something. I don't. You can't win a championship if Jimmy Butler is the best player on your team. That's that's my personal opinion. Until I'm proven wrong. Now, if Jimmy go out there and knock off Boston, get to the finals, knock off um, Golden State, because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm predicting Golden State going to the finals. So let's say Jimmy knocks off Boston, he knocks off Golden State. Then I have to give him his props. You know what I'm saying? Even if, you know, because he wouldn't be the only player that holds back during the regular season. I think the majority of these dudes do that. Like, just cruise to the regular season solely based off talent alone and be like, oh, yeah, I'm talented. I don't have to really give my all every game. You know, that's the attitude a lot of these guys have. You know what? Um, I don't really feel like playing all out tonight. So uh, I'm going to give y'all a little bit. You know, we in the playoffs and everything. So uh, we just going to uh, do it like that. And when the playoffs run around, and maybe I'll have, a, you know, two or three, four new moves. And I think a lot of these guys do that. Same with the, the little injuries they be having. I think, see, in the NBA, these contracts are guaranteed. So they can sit out as long as they want and still get paid. That's why it's like I don't see 
in this era of players, I don't see that, you know, willing to die on a court competitiveness, the competitive fire, you know, and I would do whatever it takes to win this game, going all out. I don't see that with a lot of these guys. I just, I just, I don't see it. So, so Jimmy, Jimmy played all right. He played all right last game. Last game he was, you know, he, 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 he did okay, but it wasn't like. That 40 burger he dropped wasn't nothing like that. So I predict that they're going to get rubbed out tonight. I think the Celtics is going to leave skid marks on the nerves of the Miami Heat tonight. That's my prediction. Take it to Vegas. Bet on it if you want to not financial advice, just my opinion. That's where I'm falling tonight. Y'all let me know where y'all falling as far as that goes. So what what else is going on in the world? It's it's a crazy world we live in. Let me find some more crazy shit. Let's check it out for a minute. Let me see something. Bill Meyer punk ass likes playing both sides of the fence. It's just like Mitch McConnell. Can't trust motherfuckers like that. Let's check this out right quick. Uh, we're gonna skin that right quick. Bill Mayer swipes Elon Musk for saying he'd vote Republican. I've got to part company there. Bill Mayer suggests Elon Musk is lacking some perspective. Real-time host Bill Mayer took a swipe at billionaire Elon Musk for suggesting his political allegiance might shift in the upcoming elections. This week, Musk went viral for a tweet he made Wednesday denouncing Democrats and hinting he'd cast his vote for Republicans for the first time. In the past, I voted Democrat because they were mostly the kindest party, Musk wrote. But they have become the party of division and hate, so I can no longer support them and will vote Republican. He added now, watch their dirty tricks campaign against me unfold with a popcorn emoji. During a panel discussion Friday night, Marr reiterated his stance on how he could never cast a vote for a Republican since the party doesn't believe in the emergency of climate change or democracy. Elon Musk this week, I'm a big fan in many ways, but when he says, now I'm going to vote Republican, I've got to part company there. Come on, Elon, Marr exclaimed. I can't go there with him because of what I just said because of where the big issues are, but it's troubling to me that a guy like that who said, I voted mostly Democrat for the longest time and now I'm switching. I mean, I'm not going to say is a stupid man. So the fact that he can be taken over by the Republicans, what does that tell you about the Democrats? What do they have to do to stop that from happening? Comedian Adam Carler responded by pointing to Democratic regulations on businesses and how Musk moved his Tesla headquarters from California to Texas as part of his rationale. 
While Mar heralded Musk as a genius, he insisted the billionaire is lacking some perspective here on what party is the most dangerous now. Former Democratic National Committee Chair Donna Brazile attempted to downplay Musk's political shift, insisting there isn't a movement away from the Democratic Party. While there may not be a movement because there is a bit of an exodus, Mar pushed back. I mean, people leave this state and move to Texas. That happens. Look at the polls for what's going to happen in November. People are voting more Republican in November. The Democrats are going to get there a kick. The HBO star previously praised Musk for his ongoing takeover of Twitter, hoping the billionaire will restore free speech principles on the platform. Uh, it was all good just a week ago. It was all good just a week ago. And all of a sudden, Bill Maher don't like Elon Musk. Huh? Because he says he's going to start vote, voting Republican. Well, everybody with common sense to start voting Republican because the Democrats have done nothing but lie for decades. They come around black people when they want to get the black vote. Then when they get in the office, they turn their back and pretend like, oh, did I promise you that? Did I say that? Okay. That's if they respond to you at all. Black people need to start waking up. The Democratic Party has never been your friend. They have always been your arch enemy. But the truth gonna come out starting this year, in this fall especially. In the terms, we're gonna have to sweep it clean. Cause a real blizzard is coming. <laughs>